What is up guys, it's me, R3D2, and I'm back for a new awesome video today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and use the Petroglyph Map Editor for Minecraft, oh not Minecraft, Star Wars Empire of War. In some of my older videos, I showed you guys and played around with the Star Wars Empire of War game. I'm going to be showing you how to create custom skirmish battle maps for that game along with its add-on, Star Wars Empire at War Forces of Corruption. Um... Forces of Corruption, I'm going to do a series on that later, but I'm going to show you how you install and use the map editor. In order to get to the map editor, I'll leave a link to in the description, and I already have a copy paste here, so you copy and paste it there, and click enter. There you go. I'll leave that link in the description, but here, once you get here, mod DB. Once you get here, click that, click download now. But I've already downloaded Star Wars Empire at War Petroglyph map editor, so I'm going to go ahead and start that up really quickly. The map editor is essentially a map editor. It, it makes custom maps. I'm also going to show you how to install them. So here we go. We're here at the terrain editor. Now you may look at this very, very old looking. It's from its. It's because it's from 2006, like around the game time. Like this is as old as the game itself. We're going to do a new space map. Click new space. This none of this particularly matters. You have to choose space. Rebel Empire. I always do branch, so it's not like too one-sided. I do multiplayer because I like to play with with Mr. Shotgun too. The map name, we'll just call it one two three four. <laughs> the planet name, that doesn't particularly matter either. One two three four. Um, you want to make this as big as you possibly can. So control copy. You want to make all these as big as you possibly can because otherwise the map is just going to be way too small. Crud, I hit the wrong key. You definitely have to make this as big as you possibly can. And then basically, I'm going to be doing this very basically. So this is a space map, so we're going to do stars low for the backdrop. And we're going to do a blue steel sort of backdrop here. We're also going to. What is this? Right. Well, that doesn't matter. Now we're going to go back to objects and starbase. Empire skirmish starbase one. Place mode, so you can just place it. And okay. Go. There we go. This is the Empire Space Station and it's current and we have to make sure it's owned by the okay that's owned by the rebellion we don't want to do that control Z now owned by the Empire because then you faction owner we'll go to the other side of the map other side of the map and we'll do the rebel and we'll do the rebel skirmish starbase and we'll make sure it's owned by the rebellion because we want to give the, the Empire a rebellion starbase and that's pretty much it. You can basically add asteroids, any units you want. It's really simple, but it gets more complex if you want to do like story mode. When you install it, it comes with a set of documents that show you how to use it. But I never really use those because I saw a video tutorial from another YouTuber who does a more more a more in-depth tutorial, Ninja Bunny Gaming. He did a tutorial on this. If you guys want to check his video out, go check it out. And of course. Tell him that you were sent by R3D2 and leave a link to my channel in your comment. But um, now we're going to save this as, save as, tutorial map one, two, three, four. Okay, let me click save. Okay, so, close that. Okay, so here we go. So now that we've done that, and we're going to close that down too. So now that we've done that, uh, I'm going to hear tutorial. Uh, here we go. So you search it up in your search bar, and then click open file location. In order to install it, you have to go to your Empire at War or Forces of Corruption game. This was a more of an Empire at War focused map, so we're going to go to open file location, data, art, maps and then drag and drop this file into the maps now one problem is that one problem one problem is that actually you do have to make a map file 
folder for Forces of Corruption here. It didn't have one when I first installed it. So you have to go to Data, Art, and you have to make a Maps folder. But it still perfectly works. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope this helped you out.